right? We just want to get that ball away from his midline. So that when he throws it, now he's going to be working on catching his backhand. Practicing some forehand tennis ball catches and bare hand. As your players get better and better at this, they're going to be able to then quickly move those this quick exchange game going into a little bit of overhand action. Obviously, we all find ourselves at home during these times. That's where I'm currently at with my boys helping me uh, demonstrate and help with the uh, videos. Today's topic of our first video is glove work. How to use our best friend, like I commonly like to refer to it as. So uh, each video is gonna follow the thought of giving some quick instruction. We're going to do a couple drills and then I always like to end with a fun activity that hopefully our players can begin to do by themselves because that's the goal is to get everybody outside and some outdoor activities. All right, Reed, so uh, we're going to be working on some glove work today, all right? Show everybody uh, where your best friend is. Show them your best friend. Yeah, your glove, all right? And show everybody where your pocket is. Where's your pocket in the glove? Good, right in the deep part of that glove. That's where we want to secure uh, that baseball, all right? So glove work's super important because it allows us to trust this glove of ours, right? Trust to keep us safe and secure catches, right? So Reed, we're gonna start catches on our forehand side first. Reed, go ahead and put your glove on this forehand side. All right, we want the helper hand there nice and close. And we're just gonna give some good flips to that forehand side. He's just gonna flip it on the way back. And we're gonna do about 10 or so of those, all right? So he's watching it in. We want to be uh, really careful on some of the big no-nos, right? We'll go over the big no-nos of glove work. Reach your way. The twist. Letting the ball get too far behind you, especially on our forehand sides. The jab. Right? We just want to get that ball away from his midline so that he can build confidence in that forehand. And after 10 or so, um, we're gonna to move to our backhand, all right? So we're gonna go into that backhand and he's gonna work on that flip back, on those flips. We can tell them to think about letting our arm go and extend towards our target right as we go into it, okay? So after we do about 10 or so there, we build some confidence on those, then we're gonna go into the quick exchange game, right? This is a fun little game that we can do. So right now, Reed and I are going to do 10 throws and see how long it takes us to do 10 throws. So, Reed's gonna throw it. When he throws it, I'm gonna start the clock and let's see how fast we can do 10 throws. All right, Reed, you ready? While I'm throwing it, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna do some forehand, some backhand so Reed doesn't know what we're gonna do. All right, on your mark, get set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, Reed. Nine. Last one, last one. Good, and I catch. Very good. All right, so we got a time. And now that's something that Reed and I can continue to work on. Reed, you got 28.51, all right? Now, a way that we can advance this a little bit is we can, like Reed was getting to do, um, was kind of getting the feet going, all right? So we're getting those feet moving and getting those uh, feet really stepping into it, all right? So Reed, let's do five this time and really work on trying to get those feet going like a game of hot potato, all right? Are you ready? Go! Nice and quick, step into it, good. Nice. Good. Very good. Two more, Reed, two more. Good, good footwork, good footwork. Very nice, great job. Another thing we can do by ourselves is use our bounce back. So Parker's standing off to the side of the uh, bounce back. So he's catching forehand uh, this time. Now he's gonna switch over to the left side of the bounce back so that when he throws it, now he's gonna be working on catching his backhand. Very good, and then as you do, you know, 10 on each side right there, then you can go on back, go on back, Parker, and as they move it back, they're gonna give them some variability so they're not catching it on the same side of their body every time. Some forehands, some backhands. So not everyone's got a bounce back, 
But here what we've improvised with is a board that uh, Reed is practicing some forehand tennis ball catches and bare hand. If you can catch a tennis ball bare hand, it's a lot easier when we have a big old glove that's like a big hand. All right, now Parker's gonna jump in there and demonstrate uh, moving to the other side of the board. And now he's gonna do backhands on it. Good. So after you get a few of those, you know, you can, uh, you can have your uh, players do 10 or so. Um, of each, I'm always like the number of 10, it's a pretty good place to start with. And then you can go with uh, alternating. So Parker, catch the ball, move to the other side, and then uh, keep going back and forth. As your players get better and better at this, they're gonna be able to then quickly move those feet to where they catch that ball and they're ready to go. Great hand-eye coordination drill, and obviously catching bare hand puts their glove in the right position to uh, catch the ball. Again, just a simple board, tennis ball, and great activity. And as we get a little bit older, we can get uh, this quick exchange game going into a little bit of overhand action. Moving the feet. Obviously, as we play catch, some throws are going to be forehand, some are going to be backhand. Well, we got to trust reaction time and not uh, the ability to think about what side is coming to us. Good job, guys. Thanks again to my uh, professional camera crew team and my uh, demonstrators. Parker and Reed, thanks. I'm Patrick Curran with PC Baseball. Thanks again to the town of Carver, Recreation and Parks and Cultural Resources Department to give me uh, this opportunity to provide some of these videos.